Hey guys, welcome to Endurance Room. We're coming at you from New Jersey. We're in the Palisades Park. Palisades Interstate Park. Palisades Interstate Park. It's We're heading on this path up towards the border of New York. We had to come down to the city earlier, so we're getting in a quick hike. But we just wanted to do a quick video. It's really pretty. It's like right on the Hudson River, and you can see the George Washington Bridge and some other bridge. It's like woods on a shoreline and it's got some pretty tough, pretty tough hikes, but also we're just doing the shoreline trail because it's super hot and we have the Husky so he can just take a little dip in the water if he needs to. The Husky is a hot ski today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We brought him down to the water's edge to cool off earlier and he was nipping at the salt water. So this is a revolutionary war site. There was some old fortifications back the down the trail and they had some battles here on this water at some point along this channel the colonials stretched a huge chain across the other side to catch the british ships and keep them from coming in pretty neat my great grandma Catherine toon actually swam across the hudson river and her multiple very times very risque wool and bathing suit like back in the 20s I can't imagine swimming in wool. <laughs> uh, can you imagine swimming across this? I couldn't do it. She swam across and back from Sl Sleepy Hollow, New York. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty badass. We want to thank everybody for the positive support about the land and the cabin. We're still sorting things out, but we've been getting ready to move and super stoked. We keep looking at the map and checking out the land and the region and got lots of ideas but thank you everybody that watched the last video you guys gave us a lot of love and support we really appreciate it appreciate the good vibes what you think i think i want some korean food korean food yeah. is that where it's at already yeah yeah <laughs> oh husky's getting a drink Hot dog. I want to give a quick shout out to Pooter Stomper. If you guys aren't following his channel, give him a follow. He's got an awesome bushcraft channel, does a lot of really cool overnighters. And his video from this past weekend, he did a Nesmic style camp out. And he asked me and Andrew Heath to jump in on it and anybody else. But yeah, I'm going to put together a video. If you're not familiar, Nesmic was an outdoorsman from the late 18th century and he basically wrote the book on a lot of the stuff you see today in the bushcraft community. So I've got my M1941 Marine Corps pack that I made into a, you know, a day pack, a scout pack. It ended up being about 18 liters I believe. But something I forgot to show you guys was how I've got the top of it um, braced up. So it doesn't collapse. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the bag. Wax canvas, leather lid, wooden toggle, plosh palaka style. But on the back, I've got a pair of old Alice system load bearing straps from like a Y harness. And I stitched them together at one point, which helps keep the pack centered and you know the straps from coming off and prevents the need of a sternum strap for the most part but i can tell you from experience it, if you do that the lid will just like collapse together so what i've done to keep that supported and braced up is put this on the inside right on the other side of the straps it's like a a mini frame but it helps keep the shape of the pack and keep the top from collapsing in so nothing too crazy this is an awesome little day pack i really love it but at 18 liters it's a little bit on the small side for you know overnighters or any like serious camping it's a little day rug i'm just using my basket again because i love my basket where'd you find that again my aunt sharon gave it to me uh... Thanks, aunt sharon. Pretty she's sweet. A, she's a Danish Viking. She's really good arch archer. She's deadly with a bow, huh? Yep. Yeah. 
So since we're talking about backpacks, and this is a little bit small for overnighters or any serious camping, I'm thinking about, I really like the looks of the Finnish military's pack, the M05, like it's just an open pack, you know, really simple but bulletproof, and there'd be ample storage in it, but relatively light. So I really like cutting down the weight on the packs, I really like traditional looks, but you know, saving weight's pretty cool too. So I'm gonna make another pack. I'm gonna do an approximation of the Finnish M05, and I picked up some material for it yesterday. It's like a heavy Cordura fabric, and you know, a couple Fastex buckles and some nylon webbing, and I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna do it all by hand, no machines, just sew by hand. It probably won't be exact to the the finished bag but i'm going to do pretty close i'm using the same basic dimensions and it'll essentially be a larger version of this just you know made completely from scratch where did you learn how to sew uh mama dukes. mama dukes yeah my mom is a seamstress she used to make she ran a business out of our our house for years making prom gowns and wedding dresses and she built her business up by like girls would like come in and show her a picture of the dress and she would make it for them so and sell it to them at like a fraction of the cost that they had paid in the store so it's pretty cool so she kind of like taught me the basics and then you know Greybeard Green Beret actually posted a video on the speedy stitch and that's kind of where I learned about that and how to use it the basics of it anyways if you guys haven't picked one up, it's worth having. We're gonna get back on the trail. But real quick before we go, guys, I had a bit of a mishap earlier this week. My computer blew up, the battery went on it, and it destroyed the computer. The, the back pushed off, and the trackpad pushed off the front. It's toast, and it's what I used to produce my music on, and I was hoping to pick up a camera and start using it to edit video. So far, I've been doing everything on my phone. I really, really like to continue to grow the channel and improve the videos. So, I'm gonna open up a Patreon account and keep a PayPal link. If you'd like to support us and help us out and keep this growing, it'd be awesome. Truly appreciative. Well, right on, guys. We're gonna finish out our trail and head back. Hope you guys are good. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.